This is the story of Bridget and Annie, who share a flat in London, and the boys next door, Nick and his friend Hector from Argentina. Hector and Annie are dating, and Hector's English is getting better and better. Nick fancies Bridget, but, uh, well, Bridget does not fancy Nick. Stand by for extra. be a great actor. In fact, I might get a part in a Shakespeare production this week. <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> Did you have a good day at work, Bridget? Oh, I'm so tired. Training with the England football team this morning. Oh, those boys, so cheeky. But they really know what they're talking about. Football. No, hairstyles and fashion, of course. <laughs> anyway, then I had lunch with Kylie Minogue's agent. Lovely man. <laughs> so funny. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Oh, poor Bridget. Ugh, I must get changed. It's a researcher for Channel 9. All she talks about is sweet stars. <laughs> it's so boring. Huh? I'll be sweet when I'm famous. <laughs> Where are they? I thought so. To die. To sleep. Nick! No more. Are those my tights? No. Huh. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, these tights. Are they yours, Bridget? I'll speak to you later. Now, where's Hector? I have some exciting news for him. Oh. oh. Hi, Bridget. Hi, sugar plum. Hi, snuggly puppy kids. <laughs> hey, nice tights, man. <laughs> Hector, I have some great news for you. Channel 9 is looking for a television reporter. I, I can do that. Not an English reporter. A Latin American who speaks English. But I can't speak English very well. Just audition. Go on, Hector. The camera will love you. And so will the girls. Um, not all the girls, I hope. Well, if you think so, then... Ah, uh, Hector. 
With my help, the job is yours. And my new boss will be very impressed with me. OK, Bridget. Right. <laughs> Let's do some research. Annie, we need um, CNN. Find it. And Nick? Yes? I want my tights back. Now. OK. You want your tights back? They are Versace. The remote, please, Annie. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I don't know. I think it's broken. Well, we'll have to go to your place then. You are. Shh, Nick. We're watching CNN. We're doing research for Hector's new job. Hector's new job? What about my new job? I need to do research as well. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> there, that's better. What's this? Hamlet, a tragedy. What's it about? Love, madness, and murder. Hamlet's father, the king, is killed by Hamlet's uncle, who then marries <laughs> Hamlet's mother. So, Hamlet killed his uncle and his mother, and then <laughs> he died. That sounds like my family. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I'd be great as Hamlet. <laughs> oh, my tights! Oh, uh, Bridget, I had an, an accident. Buy me another pair or you will have an accident. Accident or murder? <laughs> OK, Bridget. Right, I'm off. Me too. Good night, sugar plum. Night, snuggly puppykins. <laughs> oh, Nick, I am worried. Huh? Hector, I know what you mean. When women talk like that, it is time to move on. No, not Annie. This television reporter's job. I don't really think I can do it. Hector, of course you can. What you need is talent. No, you don't need talent. You need Nick School for Television Reporters. Nick School for Television Reporters? Yeah. I will teach you to be a television reporter. OK. OK. <laughs> Rule number one. Imagine you were talking to a beautiful woman. <laughs> Good evening. This is Nick Jessup reporting from the Houses of Parliament just for you. <laughs> Rule number two. Be mysterious. I am here to tell you the Houses of Parliament may look normal, but all is not as it seems. Rule number three, make them trust you. I can reveal that this building is actually an alien space station. Trust me, trust Nick Jessup. I will always tell you the truth. See you later. Good night and sleep tight. <laughs> Do it like that, Hector, and you will get the job. <clears throat> Hi, this is Hector Romero. TV reporter at Channel 9.
design. And I think Hector will be perfect. Well, if you think so. Of course, I will train him. My new boss will be very impressed. Okay, Bridget. And this morning, I found Nick wearing my Versace tights. Oh, these tights? He's a strange boy. Guess what, Dan? I've discovered Shakespeare. To die? To sleep? I love it. And I've taught Hector how to be a television reporter. Nick's school for television reporters. I'm sure he'll get the job. Did you get my facts? Well, did you get my email? What did Sting say? Will he do the interview? You won't even ask him. He's never heard of Channel 9. Oh, please, please. Please. Well, can I meet him? I can. Where is he? At the airport. I'll be there. Yes! Hector Romero for you, Bridget. No. Hector, I, I forgot your audition. Listen, I must go out for one hour. Okay. Sting wants to see me. <laughs> Don't worry. Just remember everything I've told you. Here's the script. There's the camera. Mustache, be back in an hour. But, uh... <clears throat> Hello, this is Hector Romero for Channel 9. What a day! First, Sting had already departed for New York, and now this. This! From you, Hector! Sorry, Bridget. Was this Nick's idea? Um... I thought so. So, have I got the job? What do you think? Goodbye, Hector. <clears throat> the new editor will be here soon. Right, Nick. <laughs> Nick, I am too angry to speak. Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Nick. I thought you were too angry to speak to me. Shut up, Nick. How dare you? How dare I what? Teach Hector to be a news reporter. Ah, sorry, Bridget. He was ridiculous. Hi, sexy. This is Hector Ramiro. My new editor will be here soon, and I wanted to impress her. So, will Hector get the job, then? Of course he won't get the job. You made me look a fool. You... You and Hector are so stupid! <laughs> Who was that? Wrong number. Hey, Nick, look at this. This could be perfect for you. What is it? Is Shakespeare in your blood? Could you be our Hamlet? Yeah. Do you love performing? Yeah. Do you love travelling? Yeah. Do people adore you? Naturally. Then we need you. Call this number for a Shakespearean experience. Hmm? Wow. <laughs> Hamlet. My dream. 
I'll call now. I must learn my lines. To be. <laughs> to be. Or not to be. <laughs> Bridget? Eunice? Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Long time no see, hmm, Bridget? And how's Nick? Does he miss me? No. Uh, yes? Oh, you have a new hairstyle. Yeah. Mm. So have you. Yes, but the difference is, mine looks good. <laughs> yes. Mm. Anyway, Bridget, I am your new editor. Surprised? Uh, no, no, no. Mm. Good. Okay, two rules. One, I am your editor and I am always right. Two, you are the researcher, you are always wrong. Okay? Okay. Now, what have you got for me today? Well, uh, Sting would love to come for an interview, oh. uh, but... Um, but is not coming. Uh, no. <sighs> But we need a new reporter and... And... And I have found you the most perfect person. He's Latin American, speaks English, and he's very sexy. Watch this. I know you'll love him. Hi, sexy. This is Hector Romero for Channel 9. <laughs> wow, you look beautiful today. Guess what? There's been a diamond robbery in London. I would love to put diamonds on those pretty ears. But you? Yes, you can sleep safely in your bed tonight. <laughs> this is Hector Romero. I'll be back. Well, of course, Hector. Oh, he is. A day. Hector's audition was a disaster. Hello, this is Hector Romero for Channel 9. Guess who interfered? Nick. Right, Nick. And worse still, guess who is my new boss? Eunice Mountain. I am your new editor. But the good news is, she loved Hector. Oh, he is perfect. <laughs> we found a perfect role for Nick. Hamlet by William Shakespeare. My dream. He's very excited. Sorry, Hector, my little puppykins. I'm sure you would have been a very good reporter. But Bridget is angry with me. <laughs> Don't worry about Bridget. Guess what? I've got the job. Hamlet? Shakespeare? Congratulations, man. <laughs> oh, great. When do you start? Tonight. I've got the costume already. I think 
I will go and wash my motorbike. You haven't got a motorbike. I have now. Hi, everyone. Hector, you have a visitor. My new editor. Eunice, do you remember Hector? Hmm. How could I forget? And, of course, Nick. <laughs> I could never forget you. I thought you had a motorbike to wash. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hector. To say, congratulations, you've got the job. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Eunice really liked your take. Oh, you are perfect, Hector. Hector will have such fun. Mm -hmm. I'm off. Oh, see you at eight o'clock sharp tomorrow morning, Hector. Mm. <laughs> There's no need to thank me, Hector. Oh, I think I've got something in my eye. Well, it was nice while it lasted. But now, Annie, it is time to say goodbye to Hector. He is going to be a famous news reporter. So there'll be no room for little oh you. It's okay, Annie. Whatever happens, we will always be together. But you'll forget me when you're a famous news reporter. However many stories I report, murders, bank robberies, Small cats in trees. I shall never forget you. You, light of my life. This is Hector Romero for Channel 9, London. Oh, Hector. Oh, Annie. Nick? Yes? No! <laughs> to eat or not to eat? That is the question. Hamlet's burgers. Eat them without question. <laughs> <laughs> Next time in Extra, Annie wants to save the animals, Bridget has a date with Leonardo DiCaprio, and what is in Nick's box? Extra, don't miss it. That's nice.